Hello everybody and welcome to another glorious day on the Community Craft server. It is December 29th for me anyways. It will be December 30th for you guys. So it's after Christmas. I have been busy doing my own thing on Christmas um, and other things. I've been enjoying the hell out of the Steam Winter Sale. I've probably added about a dozen games to my collection, including F1 2013. Uh, I've been looking for a good racing game, and that one's fun, even though I do like more arcade style games, but it's fun. And it's from Co or Codemasters, and Codemasters has a very public YouTube policy, so I might be, uh, might be doing a video about that later on, after I actually learn how to play it. But I missed the Christmas episode because I had to get up early and travel two hours to go visit my grandparents, who live halfway across the state. So I miss the, 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 the whole Christmas thing where everybody was unwrapping presents, but they left mine here, so I'm going to do that today. Um, I don't see any signs on who this one was. Like, that one says from DW, that one just says me, and we got broken water, which I'll have to fix. Um, and those ones are made out of obsidian. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's double D. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, uh, I guess let's tear into these things and see what's inside. I kept telling these people that they didn't have to wrap the presents because Santa does that automatically in this... Holy shite. By West, holy crap. <laughs> hope you have a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. I hope you can use the music for good because they are collecting dust in my shop from Westwoods. Well, if you didn't charge 30 fucking diamonds for them... I would have bought them, but they cost too many diamonds, and I don't have that many spare diamonds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to be using the hell out of these guys. Do... Do I have a spare diamond to make a record player? Well, fuck. <laughs> that's actually a very good question. Um, thank you, Wes. That's, ex that's actually awesome. And I think that's all of them, too. There's Strahd, that's a new one. Wait, no, Strahd's not the new one. Wait is the new one. Yeah, okay. Um, it's hard for me to keep track because I actually have the C418 albums, the, uh, the alpha and the beta. So I have, like, all of his music that's, like, Minecraft-esque. So, yeah. Anyways, okay, so this is from DW. Y'all know DW. He's, he's one of the other more active YouTubers on this server. Granted, at this point, we kind of have a lot of YouTubers on there. Wes does a little YouTubing. Space does a little YouTubing. Uh, Double D, he's more on Twitch um, because he started playing with the, uh, the, the, the Snapshot where they included the Twitch integration. I know that's in the version that we're in now, but anyways. Hey, there's the diamond. Awesome. And he gave me some iron ore so I can work on the... the, the um, uh, bank. That's the word I was looking for. The vault. Sweet. I was hoping I'd get some iron. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to really work on the vault. I haven't been able to go mining or anything. I've been working on another project. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show that off later. I'm going to have to put this stuff all in a chest, aren't I? I'm running out of storage space. This is from... Uh, I don't know who that's from, <laughs> but if it's an enchanted book, wait, this doesn't say, does it? No, it just says Chrono on it. I'm going to guess, I'm going to make a guess that it is from Cosmo, because he's the one that has the uh, bookshop here. So I'm going to guess that that's from Cosmo, but he gave me a power four. I have power four. Is there such a thing as a power five? I might have to find out. You know what? I'm just going to throw my stuff in here for right now because I'm starting to run out of space. And he gave me another record. That's awesome. I love the records. I'm going to have to do some with, something with that. The record players respond to a redstone signal, right? Like they start playing if they get a redstone signal? I know they output a redstone signal. All right. So this one is almost completely wrapped in obsidian. It's enough wrapped in obsidian that I do have to use a diamond pickaxe. And I... 
do have efficiency, but it is my fortune pickaxe. It's the only diamond pickaxe I own right now because I ran out of diamonds trying to get a decent pickaxe because of the other project that I'm working on, which I'll show off later, because right now it's all just repetitive and annoying. Holy shite! Um, yeah, space. Um, woot. <laughs> to say the least. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to be able to finish the vault now. I'm going to have to figure out how, but I'm going to have to... F uh, 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 I have enough iron to finish the vault. That's sweet. Um, all right. That, that, that's awesome. Let's see. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Eddie, you missed your present at spawn. I think everybody else. No. Mr. Firmatics, Schlurk, um, Black Knight, Double D's has already been opened. No, it's just been popped. I don't know if it's been opened. Uh, let's see. Anybody else is missing theirs? I know Eddie is on. Eddie is one of the new guys, in case you didn't know. <laughs> space! Wanna go to space, wanna go to space, wanna go to space. Uh, but anyways, uh, anybody on the server that hasn't gotten their presents yet, come get them. Because Christmas is over. Alright, so this one is from Fire. And he did a pretty interesting rap job. It looks like a combination between a Rubik's Cube and a kind of rap job that I do. <laughs> Where I just kind of like just throw it together and be like, yeah, screw it. And I got a bunch of eggs, some steak, and a splash potion of swiftness. Alrighty. I was thinking I needed a chicken farm for something. What was it for? I don't remember. Woo! All right, so, and then this one is to me as well from Turcote. Turcote. Yes, I know. It's Turcote, but <laughs> I'm sorry. His name reminds me of Chicote from Voyager. And he gave me cake. The cake is not a lie. Hi, Eddie. And for the record, the cake never was a lie. I mean, I, that's the whole meme that's going on. But if you actually pay attention to the game, the cake was never a lie. I mean, if you think about it, right at the end of the game, the cake shows up. So the cake is not a lie. The cake is actually there. All right, this is from Double D. This ought to be an interesting present. Boop. And I like his wrapping job. It actually looks really nice. And it is some wood. Ooh, lapis. I love lapis. Cooked fish. We have a smart ass on the premises. <laughs> he gave me cooked chicken and feathers. Ah, smart ass Double D. Ah, how I love you. No homo. Damn it. All right, well, let's see. That's all of the presents. No, there's some over here. Who are these two? These are to me and to Fromatics. Damn you, Obsidian. Boop. He might have it. I don't know. Going to break it with my hand. Oh, he'll be here for about four minutes. <laughs> okay, the sun is going down. He's still pounding away at that. And I don't have a good video of it, but I sat here and watched him for a couple of minutes, and he slipped with his fingers, and it stopped popping. Here, let me help with that a little. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I would have laughed so hard if a zombie came up and started knocking him around while he's trying to open that thing. <laughs> that would be hilarious. What'd you get, Eddie? I can't tell. I can't tell. I don't know why, but I can't click on it. Hmm. Two stacks of packed ice. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I think it was West that found a, uh, uh, like, a, one of those ice sickle plane 
thingamabobs. I don't know what they're actually called. But he found one, and I have no idea where it is. It's what I need for my flying donut. Yeah, Eddie's the guy that's doing the crystal thing over there that I showed off. Uh, I think it was in the last episode. I guess I need to actually start uh, paying attention to what I do in my videos. But yeah, so there we go. That is, those are my presents anyways. Wait, are, did I get them all? I think I might have forgotten one. Yeah, I, oh no, this one was from Cosmic. All right, so who gave me the book? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'm sure somebody will uh, take credit for that later on. Possibly pop up in the comments and say it. But, uh, okay, so this one's from Cosmo. Pop. And it is... Okay. Um, I think we might be working on the vault today. <laughs> Sweet. I have so much stuff now, I can't keep track of it. Where did I hide those other things? I think I hid them in here. In the present from the unnamed soldier. Yes. All right, well, I'm going to go um, throw all this stuff into storage, get everything organized, because, well, I'm out of inventory space. So, yeah, I shall uh, come back when I'm ready to start building. So when we last left off with the vault, I had gotten this far. Basically, not very far at all. And I was trying to figure out where I was going to go from here, really. I think I've kind of decided. I'm, I still don't know how I'm going to do the door of the vault, but I've decided that I'm going to pull the vault out to about... Yeah, about to where the stairs are. Maybe, maybe ever so slightly back. And then I'm going to put bookshelves like the whole way down here on this side of the vault and then on that side of the vault. So it looks like uh, records or something like that. And um, from there, I'm not so sure. Uh, I, I, I'm just kind of winging it. These are quartz blocks. Well, I done goofed. Those are quartz, quartz blocks. I thought I got more iron blocks, but nope, those are quartz blocks. Um... I still have a whole crap ton of iron blocks, so we should be able to do something useful. Or a lot of useful, anyways. Let's see how far this stack gets me. It gets me... I don't know. Hmm. So, how was everybody's Christmas? Um, oh, I could probably chop those out and get some more. Anyways, um, I went down to my family's. That's why I wasn't in the Christmas episode, because I went down to Altoona for Christmas. Uh, but before that, I went to my dad's place, which is actually right down the street for Christmas, and then I went to my sister's place. We did this all on Christmas Eve. And uh, so I got my presents there. I got this really, really nice uh, Minecraft hoodie type thing. Yeah, right here. That's where I'm going to stop. Which I'm actually wearing right now because I, I quite like it. Uh, let's see. These pop kind of easily. So I'll just do that and then get up here. Means I'm going to need... That's as far as I'm going. I'm going to need smooth stone bricks eventually here. Oh, I can't go up and over. Whoopsie doodle. Wee! Ow. Yeah. Got this really nice uh, hoodie that I'm wearing right now. That I pretty much wear constantly now because it's a really nice hoodie. And it's really warm and I'm always cold. I'm constantly, constantly cold. So I've gotten used to wearing a hoodie all of the time. And... Uh, got some really nice shirts i've got a shirt that i i swear i'm gonna start wearing into uh, into the brewery when i start doing my network administrator stuff it's a t-shirt it's probably from think geek i don't think i saw it there but it probably is from think geek it says uh i'm here because you broke something and it totally fits for a, a tech support person 
what else did I get in that particular trip? I got a lot of Star Wars stuff. Um, I really like Star Wars, and that's kind of a running kind of thing. That and rubber ducks. But I'll save the rubber duck story for another day. So I got a lot of Star Wars stuff, and I have yet to figure out where I'm going to put it. Because I like displaying the Star Wars stuff. I don't really play with it. But I got... Uh, like, uh, I mentioned before that I was getting an office... But I never did finish that story because I kept getting blown up by creepers. Um, I can sleep. Give me a sec. I need to start carrying a bed with me. I used to do that. I used to carry a bed with me all over the place. But uh, the other project I've been working on, I need all kinds of free inventory space. So I kind of keep my inventory to a bare minimum. In. Ooh. In. Anyways, um... Uh, so, yeah, there's an office building that my dad owns that people don't, or the, the previous tenants uh, left because they were moving and they just, there was no real point in renting that entire building for one the one person that was left at that building. Everybody else had moved. Uh, so they said that one person can work from home and, uh, yeah. So uh, they couldn't find a tenant for that building because it's not really built for a bunch of people. It's more built for one group of people, not a, a bunch of different tenants. So they couldn't find somebody to rent that entire building because it is a pretty big building. And one of the other owners said, well, why don't, why don't we move in there? And, uh, yeah. So there was a possibility, or there is a possibility that I'm actually going to get an office, and there's a possibility that it's going to be, uh, set up as a studio. I have no idea how I'm going to do the vault, and I just realized that I do want to tear the floor out and replace it with iron blocks. Or at least something. Hmm. Well, let's tear it out and see what happens. See what it looks like when I put it all put iron blocks all through it. Actually, I'm thinking I might put lapis in the center and iron blocks on the outside. But I haven't gotten there yet. So, yeah, I might be getting an office. I might be getting an actual studio. And then if, I, if we're going to be putting forth the effort to build a studio and I'm going to be actually about 12 miles away from home to record... I'm going to start actually go doing the real job kind of thing where I come in at 8 and I leave at 5 or some such something like that. Whatever basically floats my boat at the time. And I'll probably be doing more recording along with all of the other stuff that I would be doing at the office. Cuz the office wasn't really ex or exclusively meant for me to be recording it or anything. It's meant for, you know, doing a job. But it's a job that I'd be doing once a, or, or twice a week, maybe. So I'd have an office that completely went unused for the rest of the week. So I may as well use it for something. Um... Yeah, and I'm rambling again, but hey, that's what I'm good at. I ramble. I'm out of iron again. Am I completely out of iron? Do I have any spare iron? Squeak. So I've, uh, yeah, so uh, come the new year, because this is all going to be happening after the new year, if it happens at all, uh, there is a chance that they f have found a tenant for the building, so we're kind of in a holding pattern for that. But, uh, hmm, all right, I got 29 iron there. Let's throw that into the furnace. I'm not going to be using the smithy, not for an odd number of iron. And I've got this, but I don't want to dip into that. But I think I'm going to have to. I mean, what? I need three, four more blocks of iron? Ugh. Anyways, while those are cooking... 
but if it does happen that I do get a studio, and there's still a good chance that I'm going to get a... Where did the witch come from? I hope this is nobody's witch that I'm killing. <laughs> that tried to kill me. Uh, anyway, so th there there is still a good chance, even if they do rent out... Or if they do rent to this tenant, there's still a good chance that I'm going to get a studio. But basically right now, we're just in a holding pattern waiting to see what happens. I like it. I do like that very, very much. Do I have... I should have enough lapis blocks. Yes, because I'm going to need like nine more. And that's it. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Cool. All right, now I just need one, two, three, four, five more iron, which is 45 more iron bars. I can do that. I can do that, and I'd still have a little spare for my ender chest. I keep iron in the ender chest, iron diamonds and sticks in my ender chest for when I go to the end and use uh, the ender fram to gain levels and stuff. And then that way I have a ready supply of stuff that I can build with to build tools and armor and crap like that to repair the stuff I already have or enchant new. Uh, so anyways, let's see. Still waiting for that guy. So anyways, I've got... Or, uh, if I do get this, there is a decent chance that I'm going to need a second PC. And I've been slowly working on it. Hey, West. Thanks for the get, get, gifts. Woohoo. Anyways, <laughs> if I can type and talk at the same time, which I can't. I don't know. Will I ever get used to that? I doubt it. Anyway, so jukebox. Where did I put the records? I put the records over here. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Look at what I found. Look at what I found. I found the dragon egg. Yeah, um, I don't know if I don't remember. Um, I don't know if somebody just put it there or much, much more likely. I grabbed it out of the chest and threw it in there. Just hit it just so nobody else could find it. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember anymore. Ouch. That's what you get for building a floating city there, Eddie. Still waiting for this thing. Seen the hub's new look yet? Yes, I like it. I do. Ooh, I can show that off. Uh, I think people are close enough to spawn to keep those furnaces in uh, in a loaded chunk. Uh, let's show off the hub, because the hub is looking good, and I kind of like how uh, West fixed it so that gas shouldn't spawn. Now, there probably still is enough space for a gas to spawn, but the way he built it, it should be at least considerably less likely um so yeah uh he's got that up there and i i don't know if he's still working on the ceiling i know he mentioned about the floor and this is what our floor looks like um oh and i didn't notice the grass blocks here either or no those are leaves blocks they're like um some form of pl potted plant, I guess. Why does it look like there's blocks missing? But somebody figured out... And I can't get up to show it off. Because somebody took down the ladders. But somebody figured out how to get up through the uh, bedrock up there. And I did not do that. I'm the only one that's on this server that has the ability to go into creative mode. So I didn't do that. Somebody else figured out how to do that. So good on you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I like the lamps that are set up. I, I'm really liking this hub. Now we need more people to join the server. So we can, um, yeah, fill the hub. Actually, I guess we would just need to spread out. Since we're all kind of by spawn, we don't have our own ender port or nether portals. So I guess we would just need to finish building in our areas and decide that it's time to spread out. Which is only a matter of time. So, yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Where was I? I was getting iron. Boop. Boop. So where was I in the story? I might be getting a studio. He has 12 gig of RAM. Yes, uh, I was just talking about me building a new, possibly building a new PC. Why am I in here? No, I need to be in here. Uh, 29. It gives me 35, and I needed what? 45, I believe? So 35, 40, 45. And an NVIDIA 250GS. I don't know that card off the top of my head. All I know is that my card that I have on me, or in my in my computer, is a 660, and it's a two-year-old video card. So I don't know what a uh, 250 is. I don't know. But I started playing around yesterday. I had a one terabyte hard drive just lying around doing absolutely nothing. Because I was going to, or, um, I was going to use it to replace my, uh, uh, my solid state drive that I had in here at, that died. Yes, I know. I go through solid state drives like mad. I keep saying, don't buy solid state drives. And I keep going right through them. Just keep blowing through solid state drives. But uh, I think that one was my fault. The last Minecraft server I ran, I ran on top of two solid state drives in a raid uh, uh, one configuration. Or was that a raid zero? I forget. Either way, uh, it kept it popped up and said that both hard drives were bad. So I, I yanked it. And this is actually why we went to a hosting solution because I just was sick and tired of destroying hard drives and so, and uh, platter drives were just too slow. At least uh, uh, consumer grade platter drives were too slow. I could pro I could have probably gotten away with... Um, oh, crap. I need leather and a lot of it. Well, crap. If I'm going to make a whole bunch of bookshelves, I need a whole bunch of leather. More than I have. I can make 12 bookshelves. Alrighty. Anyways, uh. Crap, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Yeah, now I forget. Um, something about. Um. My hard drives. Always have a problem with hard drives I always kill hard drives uh, but the one hard drive the one hard drive was definitely bad it, it was definitely damaged and I couldn't recover it but the second hard drive seemed to be working it seemed to respond like it should it ran through tests without a problem so I figured it was working and it was just the first one that was bad well that turned out not to be the case <laughs> I do have two more. All right, so let's make up another bookshelf. Yeah, uh, this hard drive lasted for like another month and then died again. So I went out and bought a one terabyte hard drive thinking uh, that I needed, that I didn't have any other spare. Well, while I was screwing around, I was setting up my other PC to try to do SteamOS. And failing at it, by the way. I never did actually figure out how to get that work. I didn't get a Steam machine, or believe me, you guys would know about it. But, you know, I, I, I tried to... You can get the Steam OS, and I tried to get that set up and working, but I couldn't. Um, because, well, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I admit it, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Let's put a torch there, and then I'm thinking about putting a light there. Since I can't put one there and there like I did there. Well, I might be able to. Hmm. Yeah, I could. I could. I could. I could. Uh, let's see. That's one there. So if I pop a block there. And I pop a block here. 
then I could put the lamp here, a lever on top of it, and then cover the entire thing and hide it with books. And then I could put some iron up here. And then when I get some more iron, I'll fill in that. So this will be one giant wall of iron. I'll have to, I'll still have to figure out what to do with the door. Oh, and I should put some iron there too. And then these will just be solid wall of bookshelves the whole way across. And I guess I'll put some kind of railing here. I'll possibly, I'll probably go with the dark glass like I do here because it just looks really good. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably just go with the dark glass here and then just have a wall of bookshelves. That'll work. All right, let's go see if I have any spare glowstone lamps. If I don't, I have spare glowstone now. Yee. I should have a lot of spare glowstone lamps since I've been working on the external lighting. Anyways. Um, yeah, I've got a bit spare. Just a bit. <laughs> Not a lot. Will be returned at date unknown. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, what did I come down here for? Lamps, right. Lamps are over here. Lamps, 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 lamps. I do. Awesome. All right, and then I need two cobble, which is in this chest. And I need two sticks, which are over here. Yeah, I do have an organization system, even though it doesn't look like it. It makes sense to me. Let's just leave it at that. Anyways. Uh, so, uh, I, I was taking apart the secondary PC to make the Steam Machine, and I found two hard drives inside of it. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. This was my media center. Why are there two hard drives in here? I, I still have no idea why there are two hard drives in the Media Center PC. That PC was specifically built to be a Media Center. It wasn't built for any other purpose than to be a Media Center. So I have absolutely no idea why there were two hard drives in it. But there were. Eh, whatever. There we go. That looks nice. Pop. All right, let's let's check that. Let's see. BL 11 10 9 8 9 8. So we get down to 8 and 7 is where it becomes problematic. So this vault is safe. I hope. Yeah, I know. I'm going to come in later and there's going to be zombies just completely filling the bloody thing. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I use the spare hard drive as the primary hard drive for the PC that I'm working on right now. I'm thinking about replacing it with a solid-state drive, uh, and I'm doing research on that right now. I'm trying to decide if it's actually worthwhile to get another solid-state drive. I don't know. I, I am heavily debating on it, and one thing I am tr thinking about doing, uh, solid-state drives are expensive. They are very, very expensive. And really, nobody can argue that. Solid state drives are expensive. It's like a dollar a gig. And while that's better than they used to be, that's still pretty bad. But, yeah, anyways. So I'm looking into it. I'm doing research. I was originally thinking about going with a uh, RAID 0 configuration with two solid state drives, two smaller solid state drives. But doing research, it actually turns out that two solid-state drives in a RAID 0 are slower than a solid-state drive that's twice the size. So if you have two 128 gig solid-state drives, it actually runs ever so slightly slower than one 256 gig solid-state drive. And it's kind of interesting because the reason for that is the solid state drives already kind of run their own internal raid. This is one of the reasons why they're so fast is because the different chips that hold the data, it can access simultaneously. And double the size, you double the chips. Probably not 100% uh, universal, 
but it's true. So, yeah, I was doing research. I've decided not to. Hi, Eddie. You look like a porcupine. All right, well, I am going to cut here and come right back to our closing ceremonies. Okay, DW, if you want to do your intro. <clears throat> And hello, everybody. My name is DW Chan Jr. Today, I'm here with Westwood's Eddie Game, and <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say your name. <laughs> yep. Wait, take, wait. take two. Take two. Which take two. <laughs> take two. And hey, hello, brother. everybody. My name is DW Chan Jr. And today, I am here with Westwood's Eddie Game, and. The God of Time, Chrono S. Trigger! Yay! Yay. Yeah, that, that, that caused him to go silence there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I tried to do my, uh, an, uh, my uh, epic voiceover guy voice, but it turned out to be my uh, game show host voice, and I just went with it. <laughs> I did my epic uh, voiceover guy uh, voice voiceover guy voice <laughs> All right, i can so. i can do an epic voiceover guy voice i just have to practice it yeah should we get rolling before i do it uh well dude i've been recording for the past hour mm. <laughs> we should probably get to burning them uh yes yeah, so anyways it is after christmas christmas is now over and to celebrate the ending of our christmas festivities burn baby burn <laughs> Uh, now I have to run over the hill line. and jump back up the hill, or jump back up onto the barn. I'm going barn. to make sure the barn does not catch on fire. Yeah, well, <laughs> I knew it was a risk when we built the damn thing, but... And the tree's going it. down, I'm going down with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wes is going to be on the tree when it burns. There's another zombie villager here. There's probably several of them around here. We should play King of the... King of the Tree. <laughs> the king of the burning tree. <laughs> no. Uh, I hope you all do realize that when you, if you die and your stuff falls in fire, it burns. Bye bye. And uh, I see I all y'all are ironed up. <laughs> I got all my diamond stuff on me. <laughs> and iron seems to be kind of rare, and diamond seems to be kind of rare. Oh, God, on fire. <laughs> He's West on Rod fire. Is. West is on fire. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think there, there's a risk of the barn burning down anymore. That's good. Wes, there's a pool of water right down here. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, and there goes Wes' stuff. I Eddie, you're on the tree. Get Wes' stuff Eddie, before Eddie, it burns. Get all this stuff quickly. I didn't um, think it's to pick up what I can from inventory. Flowing down dirt. Ow, ow, ow. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Wes, <laughs> <laughs> still ow, not ow, making ow. Wes in. Ow. <laughs> okay, that's Wes does not beseech our warnings. <laughs> I told the you. The burnt that much, or it's just the top's not loading. There you go. The the tree burned that much. <laughs> Most of this tree is gone now. The stalk is, or the trunk is just now catching on fire. And let this be a lesson to you, kids. Don't leave your Christmas lights on overnight. <laughs> <laughs> we might have left them on for a little too long. A little, yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. Any of my other tools survive? I have oh, some I of your shovel. stuff. I haven't looked um. through it yet. Okay. Yep. Tree's starting to lose fire over here. Yeah, I'm trying to do something about that. Kinder the flame. <laughs> oh, there goes my uh, flint and steel. That was my last one. <laughs> <laughs> if the tree doesn't finish burning down on its own, we'll have to go up and get it. Christmas lights. Yes, Christmas lights. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Beautiful Year! Beautiful destruction. Hey, Wes, there's some stone fencing on top of that present. Over there. Um. Here. Um, 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 um. Uh, where are you? Oh, there. I think I just picked him up. Yep. <laughs> here. Wes. Alright, let's. Wes, they're behind you now! <laughs> What all did I get? So I lost my pick. I got a That's helmet. Me. Oops. <laughs> Wes, you poor daft thing for not. Well, listening. I got my sword back, and that's what I wanted. Everything um, else. What just... was on your pick? Mine? I don't think those were mine. Fortune three, efficiency four, I don't think and I'm that breaking was mine three. Either. Ah, it sucks, man. 
And I'm fairly sure I had everything else. That's all I got of yours. I tried to get up there to get the stuff, but, uh, yeah. Didn't work out all that well. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing up yeah. there. Uh, uh, See, you're missing uh, a pair uh, of pants uh, at some point. Yep. Oh, that, that almost sucks. Broken anyway, so. Yep. Well, this well. has been the, the tree burning. <laughs> Yeah, you got my death on camera. I got your <laughs> death on camera. <laughs> Number forty-seven, West. <laughs> and I jumped oh, into the you... fire. I have that on camera too. I jumped into the fire to try to save your stuff. Yep. Well, guys, it's, thank you for watching. You do we'll see you guys me. in the new year. It's just the water was there all the time, and you just didn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go down with a tree. So yes, I will see y'all in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.